Hey, it's Scott. And what I'd like to do in this week's Give Me Five is to go ahead and touch on two things, both of which reflect the whole idea of things that go pop. So to better understand that, what we have in front of us is going to be our pig. And in our case, this is a couple hundred pound pig. And anatomically, what you can see is a couple things. The first of which is we've got our trachea, which has got our endotracheal tube hooked up to it. And intubating this pig is not difficult because I was able to cut everything else away and go ahead and immediately say, yep, that's the trachea. But from the perspective of things that go pop, What's kind of neat is as we go ahead and bag these lungs with a fair amount of peep, what's interesting is that you see not only the lungs going up and down, but more importantly, what I really want you to take a peek at is right here. And when you see bubbles that look like this or this or this on the outside of the lung tissue, that, some of y'all remember, is called a bleb. And a bleb is very similar, just as we'll touch on in a moment, to an aneurysm. The difference is, is that an aneurysm is a weakening of the blood vessel versus a bleb is a weakening of the lung tissue itself. And why that comes into play is when you take a peek at somebody like this, who has this weakened air bubble on the edge of their lung, if they were to cough <laughs> really, really hard, as you can imagine, with that little bit of extra pressure in here, to no surprise, this thing is going to go pop. And when it does, the next sequelae in relatively short order is going to be some variation of a pneumothorax. Because air is simply going to then take the path of least resistance and come right out that big hole and get trapped between the lung and the very stiff chest wall. Now the other issue when it comes to things that go pop is right here. So anatomically what we're looking at here is this is your descending aorta. And in our case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and deflate the endotracheal tube. We're gonna take it out of the trachea and in our case, we're going to go ahead, you can see it's large enough that we're able to easily slip a 7.0 endotracheal tube inside. And once we go ahead and put the endotracheal tube into the aorta, we're going to inflate it with 20 cc's of air. And what we're going to look for is right here. And when we see aorta, aorta, but here we have this big balloon going out of the middle, that is thing number two that's going to go pop. Specifically twofold. Number one is when you have an adult. And if you think about an adult who's got a triple A or an abdominal aortic aneurysm, and you have something of arterial in nature that is the size at least of a 7.0 endotracheal tube, that now goes pop. Unless you're sitting in the operating room, as you can imagine, the outcome is not going to be so good. However, when it comes to children, specifically teenagers and their aorta, the issue, remember, is when you have a child with Marfan. And Marfan, some of y'all remember, is when you've got your child that's like six foot seven and you look at their hands and they have like freaky long fingers. And when it comes to Marfan, there's two issues that go pop. Number one is they tend to get blebs, as we saw here. So when they have nasty coughing fits, they very easily can pop a pneumo. Number two is Marfan's children don't actually get abdominal aortic aneurysms, but the issue they have with their aorta is they get an aortic dissection. And aortic dissection, some of y'all remember, is when you have those three linings of your arteries. And you have a dissection, meaning you actually dissect or tear away between the linings. And why that's an issue is in Marfan's children, by the time they hit 30 years old, which is not old by any means, a decent percentage have had to have a portion of their aorta replaced. 
So the moral of story when you're dealing with big people with COPD and triple A's, or specifically on the teenage side when you've got a Marfan kid. Just simply remember these are two really bad things that go pop.